Clips is a new app released by Apple, alongside the iOS 10.3 update in April of 2017. Clips requires iOS 10.3, so make sure to upgrade before you try to download Clips from the App Store. Clips is a video recording, editing, and sharing app, all in one, that's built to be used in portrait orientation with an iPhone or iPad. Clips can be a great way to capture events like a hike or a day at an amusement park. It lets you shoot video and photos from within the app and quickly add those clips to a timeline. We can then add text, effects, and graphics to the clips and easily share the finished video. It's also possible to import images and videos from your photos library, as well as export things that you shoot in clips back out to your library. So Clips is really a complementary app to the Camera and Photos app in iOS. In this introduction, I want to go through the basic interface and recording functions of Clips. I'll be adding a mini tutorial on Clips to the MacU Mini Tutorials collection by the end of April. So let's look at the Clips interface. Currently I have the rear camera on this iPhone activated, looking at my trusty Dwight bobblehead. Across the top are buttons to apply things like effects, stickers, and text. Below we can switch between taking a video or still photo, or choosing a video or photo that's already in our library. Tap the mic button here to not record sound alongside the video. And tap here to switch between the front and rear cameras. To shoot a video in clips, we need to hold down this red button. As long as I'm holding this down, the video is recording. Notice the recording time displayed up here. Release and recording stops. A new clip is now added below. Tap the play button to review the clip. With the clip selected, I can mute the audio that was recorded with it. I can also trim the clip or delete it. Now let's add a photo clip. So I'll switch to photo mode and take a shot. Notice Clips gives me an option to retake this right away if I don't like the result. If I do, I still need to add the photo in as a clip. And we do that just like with a video. Tap and hold for as long as we want the photo to be displayed in the video. I'll add this for three seconds. I can always come in after this was added to adjust how long it's displayed in the video. Effects can be added as a clip is shot or afterwards. So I'm going to apply the comic book effect to the video. So I now have two clips. Tap the down arrow here in the upper left and I can see that these clips make up a video. When I select it I can watch the full video which will include all the clips or tap open which will bring me back into the editor and finally, I could share the video from here with friends, social media, or save it into my photo library. In the mini tutorial on clips, we'll look much more closely on how to use all the effects, save clips to your photo library, add audio to clips, and more. The mini tutorials collection is available to all Access members and as a standalone purchase in the TMU Tutorials app. Thanks for watching.